Hey there, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. What you're looking at is no ordinary Coke bottle. It's one that still sits on the deck of USS Arizona, sunken during the Pearl Harbor attack on December 7, 1941. In an underwater survey project that involves divers, sonar equipment, laser scanners, and sophisticated 3D data processing software, the USS Arizona is about to become a digital 3D model, with details that were previously inaccessible to the general public. The coral-crusted reefs, the barnacle-covered features of the ship, they are all going to be recorded first as point cloud data or clusters of tiny dots, and later they'll be stitched up into a panoramic 3D scene. With the help of Autodesk and a number of companies volunteering their time and skills and technology, the National Park Service is creating a comprehensive survey of the sunken battleship and its surroundings. The project is expected to give historians, archaeologists and researchers a much better understanding about the changes that has taken place since World War II. People will be able to take measurements, for example, on the digital model itself to see the effects of seawater, barnacles and corrosions. This past Memorial Day, there was a press conference at the USS Arizona Memorial Park. Among those present were some survivors of the Pearl Harbor attack. Don Stratton, now 92, was a 19-year-old seaman stationed on the deck when the Japanese fighter planes flew in. Here, he held in his hand a 3D printed scaled model of the cooking pot on the USS Arizona, captured and reconstructed in Autodesk Recap, InfraWorks, and Project Memento technology and software. The same technologies and process might be used in architecture projects, archaeological preservation, or factory and plant floor analysis to study and improve large structures as more manageable digital 3D models that can easily be loaded and studied inside computers. The USS Arizona project, of course, sets out to preserve much more than the shape of the sunken ship. In the end, it'll end up capturing and preserving the memories of the heroic lives cut short by the outbreak of war. For Desktop Engineering Magazine, this is Senior Editor Kenneth Wong.